Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, visited the Royal Bahraini Air Force RBAF as part of the BDF celebrations of the 54th anniversary of its establishment. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was received by the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, accompanied by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Major General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The ceremony was attended by a number of senior state officials, the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, the Commander of RBAF, and a number of senior officers also received His Majesty. صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المفدى سلام قف سمتنانتكم من صلاف حرس شرف سي أمرك سي
واتر ايل فر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظه الله ورعاه أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة حفلنا الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيدي صاحب الجلالة نتشرف اليوم جميعا بتفضل جلالتكم حفظكم الله برعاية حفل تدشين الطائرات الحديثة ومشروع تطوير طائرات الكوبرا الذي يأتي ضمن توجيهات جلالتكم السامية بتطوير مختلف الأسلحة والقطاعات العسكرية في قوة دفاع البحرين منذ التأسيس كما تأتي هذه المناسبة تزامنا مع احتفالاتنا بذكرى تأسيس قوة دفاع البحرين الرابعة والخمسين المضيئة في تاريخ المسيرة الوطنية في الدفاع عن حياض الوطن سيدي صاحب الجلالة إن خير ما نبدأ به حفلنا قراءة عطرة من الذكر الحكيم يتلوها على مسامعنا الرائد مرشد الديني ناصر راشد القدير أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولا يحسبن الذين كفروا سبقوا إنهم لا يعجزون وأعدوا لهم ما استطعتم من قوة ومن رباط الخيل ترهبون به ترهبون به عدو الله وعدوكم وآخرين من دونهم لا تعلمونهم الله يعلمهم وما تنفقوا من شيء في سبيل الله يوفى إليكم يوفى إليكم وأنتم لا تظلمون وإن جنحوا للسلم فاجنح لها وتوكل على الله إنه هو السميع العليم وإن يريدوا أن يخدعوك فإن حسبك الله هو الذي أيدك بنصره وبالمؤمنين وألف بين قلوبهم لو أنفقت ما في الأرض جميعا ما ألفت بين قلوبهم ولكن الله ألف بينهم إنه عزيز حكيم صدق الله العظيم سيدي صاحب الجلالة يتشرف اللواء الركن طيار حمد بن عبد الله آل خليفة قائد سلاح الجو الملكي البحريني بإلقاء كلمة بهذه المناسبة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Of uh, RBAF Air uh, Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he expressed pride in the Isa Air Base's hosting of the ceremony on the occasion of the 54th anniversary of the BDF's establishment, which is a glorious day for the kingdom. He added that the BDF's 54 years are full of achievements and have witnessed remarkable development as a result of the directives of His Majesty the King being equipped with the latest and most efficient combat systems that increased its readiness and made it a remarkable professional force in all events. He expressed pleasure in His Majesty's attendance to launch a number of systems that have recently entered service as well as to launch one of the flight systems whose combat capabilities were upgraded. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the grant which is three of the latest and most efficient systems in the world, some of which will begin to arrive in Bahrain which are the helicopter system, the Bahrain Shield Project, Project, and then the air defense system, the Bahrain Spears project, and then the combat aircraft system, the Hamad Hawks project. And with the arrival of the systems, the combat capabilities of the Air Force will rise to the highest levels of combat readiness. He noted that they are working under the continuous guidance and follow-up of the BDF Commander-in-Chief to prepare the qualify all caters and expedite the implementation of these systems. On behalf of the Air Force members, the RBAF commander pledged to His Majesty to protect these weapons and utilize them to defend the kingdom and pledged allegiance and loyalty to His Majesty the King. لارفع لمقام جلالتكم السامي نيابة عن منتسبو سلاح الجو الملك البحريني بجزيل الشكر وعظيم الامتنان على المكرمة التي تفضلتم بها على أبنائكم في السلاح وهي الثلاث منظومات الأحدث والأكفى على مستوى العالم والتي تم التعاقد للحصول عليها والتي سوف تبدأ بعضها بالوصول تباعا إلى مملكة البحرين وهي أولا منظومة الطائرات العمودية المقاتلة مشروع درع البحرين ثم تصل بعدها منظومة الدفاع الجوي مشروع رماح البحرين ثم منظومة الطائرات المقاتلة مشروع صغور حمد ومع اكتمال وصول جميع هذه المنظومات سوف ترتفع القدرات القتالية للسلاح إلى أعلى مستويات الجاهزية القتالية ونحن يا سيدي نعمل بكل الجهود وبتوجيه من سيدي صاحب المعالي القائد العام لقوات دفاع البحرين حفظه الله بإعداد جميع الكوادر وتأهيلها كما نعمل بالإسراع في تنفيذ المنشآت الخاصة بهذه المنظومات وأنني صاحب الجلالة أتعهد نيابة عن منتسب السلاح بأن نحافظ على هذه الأسلحة ونستخدمها أفضل استخدام في سبيل الدفاع عن مملكتنا الغالية كما نعاهد جلالتكم بأن نكون جنودكم الأوفياء ورهن إشارة جلالتكم لتنفيذ أي واجب تأمرون به ولكم منا كل الولاء والطاعة حفظكم الله ذخرا لمملكة البحرين وأطال الله في أعماركم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The PDF Commander-in-Chief then presented His Majesty the King with a commemorative gift on the occasion. His Majesty the King then inaugurated a number of modern and advanced aircrafts that entered service in the Royal Air Force. His Majesty was briefed on a number of aircrafts that had been developed and then inspected the queue of aircraft weapons. His Majesty congratulated and expressed appreciation to all RBAF officers, non-commissioned officers and personnel on this glorious national occasion and to the efforts of the PDF members to protect the Kingdom's civil civilizational achievements and the security of citizens and their national unity. His Majesty hailed the contributions of RBAF officers in many tasks in which they participate with brotherly and friendly countries in support of security and peace in the region under the umbrella of the United Nations and expressed appreciation for their high efficiency and determination to carry out their duties and face challenges. His Majesty stressed the keenness to continue strengthening RBAF's flight system and providing it with the latest weapons 
including the unknown advanced equipment as part of the plans to develop the BDF's various weapons. The attendees congratulated His Majesty the King on the occasion of the 54th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF, expressing their thanks and gratitude for the continuous support that the BDF receives from His Majesty, praying to God the Almighty to bless His Majesty with abundant health to continue the blessed march witnessed by the Kingdom during his prosperous era in all fields. The National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Pakistani Air Chief Marshal Zahir Ahmed Babar Sidhu. The meeting discussed topics of common interest. The National Guard President stressed the advanced bilateral relations that resulted in raising the capabilities of the two countries' military sector. The Air Chief Marshal Sidhu expressed thanks to the National Guard Commander for his keenness to develop levels of cooperation between the Pakistani Army and the National Guard. Under the patronage of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, the BOC, is Hani Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The competitions of the 24th Arab Cross Country Championship began, organized by Bahrain Athletics Association at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. Upon arrival, as Hani Sheikh Khalid was received by the vice president and secretary general of the Saudi Olympic and Paralympic Committee, his Highness Prince Fahd bin Jalawi bin Abdul Aziz, the Deputy President of GSA, is Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Deputy President of BOC, is Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the CEO of GSA, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar, the Secretary General of BOC, Faris Al Kohiji, the President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Mohammed bin Jalal, the President of the Arab Athletics Association, Dr. Ahmed Al Fadl, and a number of ambassadors and officials. His Highness Sheikh Khalid announced the official opening of the championship. His Highness witnessed the competition of the men's race and honored the top three winners of the women's race with Bahrain winning first place, Morocco second and Algeria third. On the occasion, as Hani Sheikh Khalid affirmed that hosting the 24th edition of the championship supports its position as a main destination for hosting the most important Arab continental and international sports events. He added that the race is considered one of the principal Arab athletics races and witnesses a wide participation from various Arab countries 
countries. He noted that such races enhanced the efforts to develop the Arab athletic sports. His Highness hailed the efforts of Bahrain Athletics Association, which contributed to the organizational success of the race. He commended the high performance of the participants, which reflects the development of Arab athletics. He congratulated the winners and wished the other participants better luck in the coming participations. Chaired by Speaker Fawziya Zainal, the Representatives Council held its 21st session from the fourth regular annual session from the fifth legislative term this morning. The Council Speaker congratulated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, marking the Saudi founding day. Zainal asserted the depth of the strong historical and strategic Bahraini Saudi relations under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al Saud. She expressed her great pride in the coordination, integration, and distinction distinguished cooperation of the Bahraini-Saudi relations in all development areas in light of the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. After this session, Secretary General of the Council, Councillor Rashid Mohammed Bourjma, stated that the Council discussed at the beginning of its session the ministerial response to the parliamentary questions, reports of the parliamentary committees, and decided to to refer three draft laws to the Shura Council and two others to the government. The Arab Parliament honored Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh with the Arab Ex Excellence Medal in appreciation of 
his distinguished role and contributions in legislative work and in Arab parliamentary diplomacy. Al Saleh expressed pride in the Royal Trust and the support of His Majesty the King during the National March. Shura Chairman noted that Bahrain is witnessing a comprehensive reform, development, growth and prosperity in all fields. The Arab Parliament Speaker Adil Asumi praised the role and career of the Shura Chairman, which is full of national achievements. The Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA, held a press conference in which it reviewed Bahrain's achievements in the digital transformation sector in 2021 and the upcoming work plan. IGA Chief Executive Mohammed Ali Qad affirmed that the support the government sector receives from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince amid a Prime Minister for the development of government services through modern technologies comes to achieve the objectives of the National Strategy for the Comprehensive Digital Transformation in the Kingdom. He noted IGA its keenness to achieve the leadership's vision and aspirations, its commitment to implement the government's directives and its endeavour to implement the directives of the Higher Committee for Information and Communication Technology, headed by the Deputy Prime Minister, Zahana Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. He also affirmed the keenness to implement the continuous directives of the Minister of Interior, aimed at improving the quality and level of services in the government sector. Al Qaed said that the authority was able to make a number of achievements that were positively reflected on eight government sectors, stressing the continuation of joint efforts with all government sectors to support the e-government program, which supports sustainable development and achieves the Kingdom's economic vision of 2030. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority welcomes Saudi visitors coming to the Kingdom of Bahrain via the King Fahad Causeway and Bahrain International Airport with flowers marking the celebrations of the Saudi Founding Day. The celebrations come as an affirmation of the depth of the historic relations between the two kingdoms and the two godly people. A number of Saudi citizens express their happiness in celebrating the Founding Day and their pride in the achievements that Saudi Arabia has achieved, reinforced by the wise leadership of the custodian of the two to holy mosques in all aspects of development. The visitors express their thanks to the Kingdom of Bahrain for this generous gesture which reflects the depth of the strong ties linking the two kingdoms and their people who are bonded with kinship, blood and destiny. And in line with contributing towards achieving the Kingdom's economic recovery plan and Bahrain's 2030 vision, Bahrain, represented by the Nationality Passports and Residence Affairs at the Ministry of Interior, launched the Golden Visa Residency. The strategic move is designed to attract investors, benefit local businesses and contribute to the provision of quality opportunities for Bahrainis. The program also aims to reward existing residents who have contributed significantly to Bahrain's economy and society over many years. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain announced the launch of the Golden Residency Visa as part of a series of economic reforms and initiatives launched within the Economic Recovery Plan to enhance the economy's long-term competitiveness by retaining and attracting those with talent and experience who can contribute to Bahrain's ongoing success. Great pleasure and honor to be here for receiving the Golden Visa from the Under Secretary, NPRA, His Excellency Sheikh Hisham Al Khalifa, and thanks for considering me for this initiative for providing Golden Visa. Our and my uh, sincere gratitude towards His Majesty King Hamad, His Royal Highness uh, Prince Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Excellency. Uh, Sheikh uh, Hisham Al Khalifa, Under Secretary NPRA, for providing this wonderful opportunity. It was very easy because we have seen uh, it in the uh, internet and uh, uh, the procedure how you have to do, how you have to apply for this. And uh, I have filled the form, and uh, within three four days I got the call that your visa is ready. It was so amazing and interesting also. So the procedure was uh, extremely simple. Um, and uh, why I wish to have this uh, golden uh, residency is because it's uh, simplifying definitely uh, the stay in, uh, in Bahrain. Uh, we have been since uh, 2004 and uh, it's a country that uh, my family and I uh, like a lot uh, due to the people, the quality of life. Bahrain's Golden Residency Visa allows holders to take advantage of the benefits of being permanent residents of Bahrain, 
including multiple entry and exit from the kingdom without restriction, residency for close family members, and the right to work in Bahrain. It is a, a great uh, uh, pleasure for getting this um, golden visa because Bahrain, I have been staying here for 18 years and it is like a second home for me. People are very friendly and for me to get this opportunity is a great privilege for me. The phone call when I received I was very honored um, and the process was very quick. I did the application within two minutes on the portal um, and uh, the re main reason I wanted the golden visa is because I love living in Bahrain. Bahrain is an amazing country to live, the people are amazing uh, and actually this has made me feel more connected to Bahrain and the people of Bahrain. This is my main reasons. To qualify for the Golden Residency Visa, existing residents must have resided in Bahrain continuously for at least five years and earned an average basic salary of no less than 2,000 Bahraini dinars per month throughout the five-year period. The long-term residence permit will be renewed indefinitely, provided the candidate continues to meet the criteria. It's a major move toward the vision of the Crown Prince on Bahrain 2030. It gives more flexibility for uh, expatriates and acquire the talents to come back to Bahrain, to come over here and invest in the country and bring back the new the economy that we have. I'm extremely happy to apply for Golden Visa and receiving the same. It was a very simple, easy process and I have been living in Bahrain since last 18 years and I have now established my own company after working with Ahli United Bank for 18 years and I have applied so that me and my family can continue living in beautiful, this beautiful country and contribute to the economy of the country. The newly launched Golden Visa will further Bahrain's standing as an attractive destination and will enhance and promote the continued development of the business and investment-friendly environment that the kingdom is already known for. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. <laughs>